Yeah, good morning students. In this video, I will be discussing on how to simulate a point-to-point -point network using NS2 uh, by attaching the TCP agents. Already, uh, I made a video on the same program, but uh, uh, instead of attaching the TCP agent, we have seen how to simulate a point-to-point -point network using UDP agent. So there are minor modifications that I have done. So before watching this video, I recommend you first to watch uh, uh, the previous video that is what how to simulate a uh, point-to-point uh, -point network using UDP agent. So the video link is available in the description box. After watching that video, you just uh, see what all the modifications I have done so that easily you can understand. So let's go for the program. Uh, <coughs> I will just go for gedit 2.tcl. So this is what uh, uh, the program for uh, uh, simulating a point-to-point -point network using a TCP agent or a TCP protocol. So all these steps are common. I am creating the object for network simulator using NS and for trace file using TF with an output file out2.tr and uh, for network animator I am using uh, NF with the output file out2.nm. So all these explanations I have done in the previous video. So how to create the nodes you know already. I am creating here uh, two nodes point to point network but uh, we have creating one more extra node that we got as intermediate node. So totally we have created three nodes that is um, node 0, node 1 and node 2. Then we have created the duplex links uh, between n0 and n1 uh, with a uh, bandwidth of uh, 100 megabits per second and a delay of 30 milliseconds with a drop time package. Uh, similarly, a duplex link is created between n1 to n2. Okay. So more explanation you can see in my previous video. And then I have created the queue uh, between n0 to n1 is 10 and n1 to n2 is 100. So you can give any value here. Instead of 100, I will make it as 20. So this is very important. So in the previous uh, program we have seen, uh, I have created the UDP agent but now I am taking the TCP agent. Uh, since I am attaching it to the first node, I am naming it as TCP node. And then I am attaching that agent to first node, that is what N node. So attach agent N node, nothing but your TCP agent. On top of TCP agent, I am attaching the application. So I am using the FTP application there, set FTP. So new application slash FTP application file transfer protocol. So I am just attaching that FTP to my AZ, nothing but TCP agent. So in my previous example, here we have taken the UDP and the application we have attached is CBR, the constant bitrate value. Okay. So this is what the minor changes we have done. We have taken the TCP AZ on top of TCP AZ, we have attached the uh, FTP application. And for destination, since it is TCP oriented protocol, means connection oriented protocol, uh, there should be a reliability. Okay? In case of UDP, there is no much reliable. Means you need not to ex uh, accept any uh, acknowledgements from the receiver. But here, in case of TCP, you need to accept the uh, what you call that uh, the acknowledgements from the receiver for each and every packet that it has received. So in order to do so, we need to uh, attach the sync application at the uh, destination side that is at node 2. So here I am attaching the sync application to node 2. Whereas in case of previous program that is UDP, you need not to attach the sync. Instead of that we have we may have attached the null application because null will not return any acknowledgements back to the sender. But here you need to return the acknowledgements back. That's what I am attaching the sync application to the node 2 and finally I am attaching node no, agent to agent that is TCP node to sync that is source to destination. So this is what the minor modifications I have done and remaining all is same just set the packet size as 6 and MB and the interval as some 0 0.005 and then I am starting the FTP application at uh, 0 0.1 for node not and the FTP not for second node and then finishing at 10 seconds. Now this is the global uh, uh, finished program or function where I have declared three objects. One is for network simulator NS, one is for trace file, the other one is the NAM file and then I am calling the flush trace in order to move uh, 
the trace file and the nav file to the respective files. Means tf to move to out one dot nav. Here I have written here. It will trace trace file to out two dot nav to point and the for animation it will point to out two dot nav. So these two objects will point to respective files. For that we are calling flush trace and finally we are closing the objects and then we are running the simulation. So this is a simple program where we have created the three nodes. On top of first node, we have attached the uh, AZ uh, TCP. On top of TCP, we have attached the AZ FTP, uh, sorry, application FTP. Similarly, for destination node, on top of uh, node, we have attached the uh, sync application or sync AZ in order to set the acknowledgement spec. So these are the two modifications I have done. So let's run the code. So we know already how to run the code. Just type ns space file name dot tcl that is two dot tcl. So once you're done, uh, let's see whether the files have been created. Yeah, it's created out two dot nam and out two dot tr. Now let us execute the nam file nam space out two dot nam. So this is what the animator. So this is what your source node zero and this is what your destination node two. So just I will play. I will just increase the speed. Yeah, you can see clearly the packets are moving from 0 to 2 via 1. And even you can see the acknowledgements not at game. You will see it. Now 2 has to, now you can see I think it is somewhat small. You can see the acknowledgements are moving from here. Okay, in order to, I think acknowledgements are not uh, getting visible. So I will just increase, decrease the uh, what you call that uh, bandwidth because the bandwidth I have given more so that uh, the packets are moving very fast. So I will just uh, minimize the bandwidth. <coughs> yeah, here instead of uh, 100 MB megabytes, I will give kilobytes, 100 kilobytes here, and also same 100 kilobytes here. I am just minimizing bandwidth very less bandwidth i am giving thereby you, even you may see the uh, dropping of packets collisions may also occur so i will run once again and then i will run the animation file now you can see clearly so this is what source okay and now you can see the packets are somewhat moving. you can see now clearly the acknowledgements how it is moving yeah you can see the acknowledgements are moving and even you can see somewhere the collisions may occur. Yeah, now you can see the packets are getting dropped. Okay. Now just simulate it. So in this way you can just uh, simulate the animator. Now let us see the trace file. I will just go for G8 it out to dot tr. So this is what your trace file where you can see the first column the event that is plus means and queuing minus means queuing r means receive and somewhere you can see the d drop packets because we have seen clearly the packets are dropped after some simulation amount of time so better i will just filter it So this is what the already we have seen in the previous program. The first column is nothing but the event. The second column is nothing but the time, simulated time. And the third one is nothing but starting node. And the fourth one is the ending node. Fifth one is nothing but the type of message. That is what application. Next is the packet size. Next, those are the flags. And this is nothing but source address. This is nothing but destination address. This is nothing but a, a packet ID, flow ID, or like that. We have uh, the trace file structure. Uh, okay. So, uh, in order to filter a specific type of packets, for example, I want to filter all the uh, packets that are dropped or all the packets that are received, then you can use either the trace matrix application or you can just use the AWK scripting. We have one of the uh, scripting libraries known as AWK scripting. So, you can use that and you can filter uh, the respective packets whichever you want from the trace file. For example, uh, I will show one of the trace file, uh, gedit. 2.awk so this is one of the uh, script i have written uh, in order to filter all the packets that are received so r is nothing but received this dollar one is nothing but the first column and then i am printing the number of packets received okay 
just save it now i will see i will pass how to execute that you can type awk iphone f means i am taking the uh, source code from the file so which file uh, that is what 2.awk file and then i am passing this source file to trace file which is our trace file out 2.tr and then click enter now you can see the number of packets received is 427 just i will change it to i want to filter only the packets dropped then you can go here again you can change instead of uh, receive you can go for d and number of packets instead of received i will go for dropped okay and then i will check once again uh, you can see now the number of packets dropped is 10. so in this way you can write the awk uh, scripting as per your requirement and you can filter uh, the respective uh, packets from the trace file okay so hope you so enjoyed the video thanks for watching and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos bye